guys, I just realized something. Enoch described the solar system, but he said he was being told that it was a prison for the stars and the host of heaven and the stars that transgressed against God. And because he said um, that they were the ones that transgressed their order at the beginning of their rising because they did not come out at their appointed times and God was wroth with them and bound them until the time when their guilt could be cons should be consummated. And he, it said uh, it said they were rolling over a fire. They were rolling over a fire. Just think about that. These wandering stars that orbit the sun He said it was a prison for evil spirits. A prison for, uh, what did he say? Well, for the stars and the host of heaven. And then in chapter 19, he said, um, and Uriel said to me, here shall stand the angels uh, that took human wives from Genesis 6. So they're there and it said, uh, and he said they assume many different forms to defile mankind. Planets, you guys. Solar system. So here's another interesting thing that I'm just realizing. So Enoch described that waste and horrible place with no water and no birds. And there was a, an abyss, or it was beyond an abyss. Um, in Revelation 18, verse 2, John sees an angel uh, and he said the angel and the earth was lightened or yeah lightened with his glory and he shouted with a long vo or a loud voice Babylon the great is fallen is fallen and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird you guys that's the same place Babylon the Great is the solar system and Enoch chapter 18 that's where it says uh, that those stars were rolling over a fire the fire and those were the ones that transgressed they're defiling us by telling us by showing us or trying to show us that we're in a solar system they're evil spirits taking those assuming those forms to defile mankind. Come out of her, my people. I might do a live stream tonight. I might not, but I might. Because I want to read all these verses. And then I wanted to read some other things that where uh, the Apostle Paul, in the vision of St. Paul, where he wrote down that he looked back upon the firmament and he saw in the same place uh, oblivion that deceives or a power that deceives and oblivion and then he named all these evil spirits like the spirit of fornication and the spirit of madness and the spirit of insolence and the, all these different spirits he said these that he saw them under the firmament of heaven like he was in the first heaven when he because the angel told him to look back upon the firmament and I think that Paul also saw the destruction that these wicked people caused. That's a whole other story. But Babylon the Great is that solar system. There is no solar system. It's a deception. Space is, is the bottomless pit. It's an abyss of darkness. Outer darkness, there will be weeping, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You don't want to go there. Not at all. There's no future there. Or no no good future anyway. Alright. That just blows my mind. Um, hopefully you understand what I'm trying to point out. But Revelation 18, it talks about Babylon the Great. And it says that it's a, it, it has become. See, and that's the same way that it's worded in Enoch. Because Enoch, Uriel said... 
this has become a, a prison for the stars and the host of heaven. And that's the same way that, that John uh, said it in Revelation. Or that he heard the angel say it. He said, this has become a habitation of devils. They're talking about the same place. Babylon the Great is that same prison for the stars and the host of heaven. All right. Love you. Have fun. Have a good one.